Let's be honest, belly fat after 50 feels almost impossible to lose, right? You eat less, you walk more, but the belly just stays there, stubborn. But here's the shocking truth. Science shows that swimming might be the missing key. And today, you'll discover exactly why and how to finally burn that fat without destroying your joints. Why belly fat gets stubborn after 50? Here's the reality. After 50, the body changes. Hormones shift, metabolism slows, and muscle mass starts melting away. This creates the perfect storm for fat storage, especially around the belly. Imagine your body as a car engine. At 30, it's like a brand new Ferrari, fast, efficient. At 50, it's more like a classic car, still powerful but it needs better fuel and more care to run smoothly. But here's the good news, stubborn belly fat isn't permanent. And swimming has a unique advantage over other exercises. But why swimming and not just jogging or cycling? That's the twist we'll uncover next. Why swimming is different from other exercises. Swimming isn't just cardio. It's cardio plus strength training plus mobility, all at once. Every stroke engages multiple muscle groups, chest, back, core, legs. Your entire body works, while water's resistance adds natural weight. And here's the kicker, swimming burns calories without pounding the joints. Running might wreck your knees after 50, but swimming makes you feel weightless, like gravity disappeared. Practical example. Try 20 minutes of freestyle at a moderate pace. You'll burn around 200 to 300 calories, but the effort feels smoother, almost meditative. Compare that with a treadmill session that leaves your knees screaming. If you're finding this helpful so far, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We bring science-based tips to keep you strong, lean, and energized after 50. Now, you might wonder, does this calorie burn directly melt belly fat? Let's look at the science. The science of swimming and belly fat. Here's the scientific truth, you can't spot reduce fat. No exercise burns fat from just one area. But swimming is one of the most efficient ways to lower overall body fat, and once body fat drops, belly fat goes too. Studies show that older adults who swim consistently see a significant reduction in waist circumference compared to those who walk or cycle. But because swimming spikes calorie burn, builds lean muscle, and lowers stress hormones like cortisol, the hormone directly linked to belly fat storage. Imagine finishing a swim session, your muscles buzzing, your mind calm, and your body entering that afterburn mode, where it keeps torching calories even hours later. Let me ask you, have you ever tried swimming for weight loss? Drop your story in the comments below. You never know, your experience could inspire someone else watching this. But here's the part most people ignore, swimming alone isn't enough. You need the right approach. How to use swimming to target belly fat after 50. Let's make this practical. If you want results, here's a simple blueprint. 1. Swim 3 to 4 times per week. Start with 20 minutes. Gradually build up to 40 minutes. Consistency beats intensity. 2. Mix your swim styles. Alternate between freestyle for endurance, breaststroke for core activation, and backstroke for posture. Variety prevents boredom and works different muscles. 3. Add intervals. Example, swim two laps easy, then one lap fast. Repeat. This mimics high-intensity training, which is proven to accelerate fat loss. Practical tip, even if you're a beginner, just walking in water waist deep burns double the calories of walking on land. But fat loss isn't only about swimming. What you eat after 50 plays a bigger role than most people admit. Let's break that down. Nutrition, the hidden key no one talks about. Here's the truth, you can swim every day, but if your diet is off, belly fat stays. After 50, insulin sensitivity drops. That means your body stores carbs as fat more easily. The fix? Eat smarter, not stricter. Prioritize protein, eggs, fish, Greek yogurt, they protect your muscle mass. Add healthy fats, olive oil, nuts, avocados. They keep hormones balanced. Reduce refined carbs, white bread, sugary snacks. These spike insulin and fuel belly fat. Imagine this, after a swim, instead of reaching for a muffin, grab a protein shake with banana. One choice supports fat burning, the other cancels your effort. 
Now, here's the part most people overlook, and it's not diet or training. It's stress and recovery. Stress, sleep, and the cortisol factor. Cortisol, the stress hormone, is belly fat's best friend. And after 50, your body gets more sensitive to it. Swimming helps lower cortisol naturally. That's why so many people say they feel lighter and calmer after a swim. It's like therapy in water. But you must also prioritize sleep. Less than 7 hours per night increases belly fat storage, no matter how much you swim. Think of it this way, your fat loss doesn't happen in the pool. It happens when you rest, recover, and rebuild. So, let's tie it all together into a real action plan. The action plan, swimming plus lifestyle. Here's the blueprint to finally tackle belly fat after 50. Swim 3 to 4 times weekly, 20 to 40 minutes. Mix steady pace and intervals. Support it with a protein-rich diet. Sleep 7 to 8 hours per night. Manage stress with swimming's natural calm effect. Follow this plan for just 8 weeks, and you'll notice not just less belly fat, but more energy, better posture, and a mind that feels refreshed. Imagine looking in the mirror and seeing a flatter stomach, stronger arms, and a glow on your face, as if your body had pressed the reset button. So here's the truth, swimming won't magically melt belly fat overnight. But when combined with smart eating, recovery, and consistency, it becomes one of the most powerful tools after 50. But here's the bigger question, what happens if you combine swimming with strength training? Spoiler, the results are insane, and that's exactly what we'll uncover in the next video. Found this helpful? Hit like and subscribe to Prime Health Zone for more real workouts and wellness that actually work. And hey, drop a comment below if this helped you, or if there's something you'd love to see in the next videos. See you in the next one. Stay strong, stay healthy.